I miss her. Or my friend says I do. GB News reports Prince Harry yearns for Harry's wife as he tours Asia for charity. We miss our wives very much. Well, interestingly, it doesn't look like he's missing her. For once, he actually looks happy. He's not scowling. He's not being prodded in the back. He's not having to walk behind somebody. He's not looking downcast. He doesn't look on edge. This, of course, is what happens when a victim of the narcissist is away from the narcissist for a period of time. Their natural self starts to return. You can see the way that he's engaged with the people that he has met, that he's enjoying being able to be him rather than always being vigilant and the proverbial walking on eggshells because Harry's wife is not physically proximate to him. Undoubtedly, she will have been calling him and sending some text messages, hoovering him to assert control over him, but it's not the same as actually being physically present. He gets relief from her behaviours. And therefore, he looks like he's very much enjoying himself being apart from her. But then, what about saying that he wishes it misses his wife so very much? Well, Sam Montgomery of GB News writes, Prince Harry may be all smiles and laughter in the Singapore limelight, but on the inside, he is missing his wife, according to his best friend and polo opposite number, Nacho Figueras. So it isn't Harry who's actually said this, it's his chum that said it. The Duke of Sussex, 38, played in the Centre Bale ISPS Handa Polo Cup at Singapore Polo Club on Saturday a sporting event he set up which aims to raise money for children affected by poverty, inequality and HIV-AIDS. He lined up for the Royal Salute Centibale team, taking on the Singapore Polo Club team, which was captained by 46-year-old Figueres. Speaking to reporters after the game, Figueres said, We miss our wives very much. You might do, Nacho. Harry doesn't. But, of course, you're saying that to be kind to Harry. This was a very short trip, he said, although it's a few days. It's a lot of travelling for 24 hours in Japan and a few hours here, but we miss them. We wish they were here. However, the Argentinian polo professional did concede that it had been lovely to catch up with Harry. Being able to spend so much time together has been a wonderful thing. Prince Harry had previously stopped off in Tokyo with Fugueras to attend the International Sports Promotion Society Summit on the Power of Sport and Philanthropy. Rumour remains that Harry is still wandering around trying to find philanthropy and is dismayed that he's not yet met him. While in Japan, the pair took some time out to go shopping for their wives, see parts pass him, as they struck a pose for the camera, wearing women's sunglasses. At the ISPS summit, Harry praised the warmth, compassion and generosity of the Japanese people and said that he would happily live here if you'd have me. Hmm. That's really an individual that's missing his wife, isn't it? Who's saying, yeah, I'd quite happily live here if you'd have me. That he's thinking, I like it here. I'm enjoying myself. And the reason that he's enjoying himself, well, it's a combination of things. It's the actual fact that people are being warm and pleasant to him, a contrast with the way that his wife treats him. It's the fact that he's able to do what he likes without somebody giving him an eye roll, giving him the stare, commenting about what he's up to, commandeering his life and directing it. It's also that he's free from the other manipulations that she utilises against him. The oppressive atmosphere, because he is in the sustained devaluation, is gone. He may well get a reminder of it through a few malign hoovers from Harry's wife, but for the most part, he's away from her. And a combination of that freedom, being able in effect to breathe, and the warm welcome of the Japanese people, has let Harry feel a lot better. This is common for a victim of the narcissist. His emotional thinking will have reduced because he won't be in all five arenas of interaction with Harry's wife. Indeed, he'll have reduced it down to two, possibly three of the arenas, and thus there will be a dip in his emotional thinking. It won't fall so much as to enable him to suddenly see very clearly what he's dealing with, 
but it would result in a reduction in the battery of feeling, as I call it, so that the anxiety and the frustration, the anger and the upset that he ordinarily experiences, generated by his wife's behaviour and his emotional thinking, will have reduced. Hence, he feels happier. It might also allow him a little bit of perspective as to what has been happening and might cause him to realise, I feel better away from her than I do with her. Or the possibility is that that would just translate into Japan's a lovely place, I really enjoyed being there. And he might not realise that a major part of his enjoyment is the fact that he's not actually with his wife as opposed to it solely being about the place. Harry also went on to state, I've been involved in many charities for most of my life and I get a huge amount of fulfilment giving back to as many people as possible. My life is charity, always has been, always will be. Agreeing with the Duke's self-analysis, Fugueras noted to reporters, he's very committed. That's what he is. It's in his DNA. And that's why I like him so much. Over the last decade, the charity has reportedly raised more than £10 million. The article explains that Centre Bali was originally founded by Prince Harry and Prince Cicio of Lesotho in 2006. Harry previously shared a statement about the upcoming visit which read, The annual Polo Cup is essential to Centre Bali's vital work, ensuring children and young people are healthy, resilient and able to thrive. The funds raised this year will support our clubs and camps programme, which provides intensive psychosocial support to young people living with HIV. In a time where being HIV positive is no longer a death sentence, we are empowering young people to know their status, stay healthy, and eliminate the stigma so they can break the cycle. We are delighted to return to the renowned Singapore Polo Club in August and are once again enormously grateful for the polo community and our sponsors, in particular ISPS Handa, for their ongoing commitment to Lesotho and Botswana's youth. Harry, at least getting out there. But some people might question, well, what's, what on earth is playing in a polo match doing for the children? But he's actually giving up his time. Yes, he's doing something he enjoys, which is playing polo, but at least he's actively doing something. Whereas GB News contrasts his conduct with that of his wife by stating, Meanwhile, back across the pond, Harry's wife has been spotted wearing a blue and white circular anti-stress patch. Developed by New Calm, the patches are said to provide resonance and frequencies that slow down cellular actions to mimic the body's normal transition to a peaceful, restorative night's sleep, according to the manufacturer's website. Thus making it look like she is anxious and nervous and not sleeping particularly well. Which might be the case, of course, as a consequence of the repeated threats to control that she is experiencing. One thing, though, is certain. Harry isn't missing her. He's enjoying himself for once. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.